Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and today we are taking a look at the HJC FG17 Flutorographic, available at RevZilla.com. I like to call this the Angry Butterfly, which is not to be confused with Iron Butterfly. It was my idea that we would play the entire track to Inagata De Vita behind this and make it a 17 minute video breaking down all the butterflies that you would see on the Flutora helmet. My producer said that was absurd and it was not going to happen. So I just wanted to, uh, to point that out that in my mind this is not going to be the Flutora. This would be called the Angry Butterfly if HJC was going for more of an aggressive audience. There's no way a Harley Davidson rider is going to wear this unless you really spice up that name. Now with the FG17, this is going to be a step up from something like the CL17 in HJC's lineup. You get a fiberglass composite shell, three different shell sizes. We threw the medium on the scale, came in at three pounds, nine ounces, and it is going to be a DOT Snell rated helmet. Now one of the things to note with this, it is going to be an intermediate oval fit. And what that means is it's going to be a little bit longer, front to back, a little bit narrow on the side, and it's going to be really a nice fit for the majority of you riders out there in the American market. So if you want all the down and dirty details on the FG17, make sure to watch our detailed breakdown video where we take the inside of the helmet, we rip it apart, and we show you everything that's going on with the FG17. As far as the Flutora graphic goes, I, I can't call it that. I mean, as far as the angry butterfly graphic goes, what you're going to notice is symmetry coming into play. There's three different colors with this. So keep in mind, the one that's on the table right now is going to be their blue-white. There's also going to be a black and silver. Those two are going to have a glossy finish. And you can see that really nicely here. Gloss, it's actually going to be a really flat gloss to it. And then there is going to be some metallic throughout the different colors that you're seeing on the helmet. But if you're looking at the pink version, the pink is going to be a matte finish. So just keep that in mind. If you're not someone that traditionally likes a matte helmet, you're going to want to definitely be considering the blue or the black version. You will notice that there is going to be some symmetry working through. The butterflies are the same on both sides, but I like the fact that they threw in just a little bit of off symmetry with that Transformer HJC logo up front that's not matched on the opposite side. But as you work your way back around, you'll see those butterflies as they fly around to the back, and they have really a, a, a dragon-esque quality. These aren't a modern butterfly. This is more of a historical, you know, illustrative look at what butterflies probably looked like, you know, two or 3,000 years ago, and they've, you know, had to kind of tame themselves down through Darwinism over the years. As it wraps around to the back, you'll see it finishes out nicely, and again, it is those, uh, those metallic sheens over top of the flat, or the glossy white, that's really going to just give the helmet a little bit more of a pop. So if you're someone that loves butterflies, catching butterflies, uh, dragons, anything that are winged flying creatures, the uh, Flutora might be a helmet that you'd want to consider. Now, there's a lot of riders out there that are currently rocking the FG17, and if you want to hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there using the FG17 on their rides. If you have any additional questions for us, reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot them an email at cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the HJC FG17 Angry Butterfly graphic. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.